freelance support services at WebGains. Uh, my team looks after the self-managed clients, uh, self-managed advertisers who manage their own programs, uh, as well as agencies and the SMEs. And today I'm really excited to talk about the affiliate discovery feature on our platform, uh, which helps our advertisers to make smarter connections with our publishers. And with me today, we have Humphrey Scheel, who is a um, creative technologist and the brain behind our uh, affiliate discovery feature, uh, whose team has helped develop this feature for us. Hi, Humphrey. Hi, Jesse. Hi, guys. So first, I wanted to start by taking a little step back to sort of the, the genesis of the affiliate discovery uh, feature. So how we how we came about uh, developing it in the first place. And of course, as a network, you know, our goal is to make our advertisers and our publishers successful. So how do you build a successful program? And that, of course, is by connecting the right advertisers with the right publishers. And when we looked at our advertisers, and the kind of challenges that they had in the beginning of their programs or in general with growing their programs, um, we kind of saw that, especially with the smaller businesses and the self-managed clients, um, that they were struggling to find the publishers or know which publishers to really connect with. So often uh, advertisers would join the network with quite a limited view um, or understanding of the full breadth of the publisher landscape and all the opportunities and the different types of publishers that they could be working with. So maybe they joined because they'd seen um, a competitor with an affiliate program, or perhaps they were rec recommended to join the network by a partner that they wanted to work with, who directed them to starting an actual affiliate program. Or they might have started an affiliate program with a desire to work with a very specific type of publishers, for example, to tap into influencers. And, um, you know, when they start their program, actually, one of the keys to having a successful program is to really have this great uh, range of different types of publishers that can help them, um, you know, along the way. And um, as a team, we, of course, uh, always provide some top publishers for every ad advertiser to work with that we know that will always work. And we always recommend that you start by recruiting those publishers and activating them. Um, but where do you go from there? Um, you know, there's we have 250,000 publishers on the network. It can be quite overwhelming and to really know sort of how to surface the best publishers that are relevant to your brand can really be quite challenging, quite a big task. So, um, so how do you do that? Um, also, you know, we have agencies or, you know, advertisers who have kind of done that, uh, know those top publishers, but but don't really know how to then go into the niches, how to find those smaller publishers that can be amazing partners as well, but are, are probably not quite so well known to the advertisers. So that was really our starting point. That was the challenge that we knew um, that our advertisers had and that, that we as a network had in creating these connections. So affiliate discovery was sort of born out of um, out of this insight. Uh, we, of course, always had the open search. We had um, uh, and still have it as part of the affiliate discovery feature itself, where you can go and, and type the name of the publisher or the keyword that you want to use. And we will give you results based on that. But that still puts the advertiser on the driving seat. It still requires you to know what to actually look for, um, what publisher you're after, or what keywords you really should be looking for. Um, and instead, we wanted to take a little bit more of an analytical and data-driven approach. Um, and Humphrey, you're going to explain really in, in more detail how this feature works and how we how it really kind of does its its magic. But in a nutshell, what we do instead of providing people ways to search is to actually do that heavy lifting for them. So we we analyze and understand what the advertisers are about as well as the publishers and we surface those recommendations for them without them having to really have that uh, prior knowledge. So 
the affiliate discovery was developed and launched um, at the end of June. And a little bit later, uh, we're also going to look at what kind of results it has brought um, to, to our clients. Uh, but Humphrey, over to you. Can you explain to us a little bit in more detail what is this thing that the affiliate discovery feature does and how, how we are able to, to really create these smarter connections? Yes, I, I can indeed, Jesse, and thank you. Um, so, yeah, so essentially um, the core problem of uh, recommending the, the next best match to a to a merchant program, you know, is pretty much akin to finding needles in the haystack. And, and the reason for that is the size of the data sets that we're working with. So um, match your, the, the affiliate discovery matching algorithm is built as a pipeline where we successively refine and reduce the size of the search space until finally we're left with something which is uh, uh, small enough to be tractable in real time. So we can actually um, get results um, on a on an hourly daily basis and and give and serve those results to the users uh, when they log into the platform. But you know, starting out, we've got just under 700 million uh, potential candidates. Uh, once we perform our first major set of filtering steps, we're down to about you know 77 million. Um, we employ a lot of features and, and mainly so people can understand how they can how they can help their program to score best in that feature engineering regime. Um, and finally, we rank and recommend. So, so what, as as you said, you know, you, you hit the nail on the head in the last slide, Jesse. What we're trying to do is um, do a lot of pre-work for the merchant for the merchant program user, so that when you come in and you receive your top twenty recommendations, and and we'll talk about that top twenty number um, in a, in a few slides time, that you would say, yeah, okay, I get it. You know, that that makes sense to me. So they're they're matching based on relevance, uh, good content, good freshness, and ability to drive sales to a program, which is, you know, you know, that's the, that that contributes to the individual health of the program and thus contributes to the overall health of the network. So it really is all about that quality and relevance of these connections. Exactly, exactly. Because, um, you know, so a default, a default view might say, Okay, what I'm going to, I'm, I'll always recommend you the um, the biggest publishers in in your country or in your network. Well, first of all, you don't need machine learning to do that, right? Because human users can do that very well themselves. Um, uh, but secondly, and I think you you touched on one of your earlier slides. Um, it's not just about um, volume of scale, like you know, for example, like a big cashback or a big um, discount voucher uh, publisher. What the web gains network, there's a real kind of untapped segment, which is um, I won't call it the long tail because long tail implies there's no volume, like there is volume in this segment. It's the it's the publishers who are really talking to the same audiences and cohorts that you want to reach as a program. So it's like it's relevant to do whether it's sports and that's like, you know, cycling, basketball, cosmetics, lifestyle, fashion, you know, but like where are those people hanging out and talking in the web gains network? Uh, can we find them and fix them for you so that you can they, um, they can those publishers can join your program? So that's how the affiliate discovery works under the hood. That's kind of what's going on uh, in in order for us to generate those great um, recommendations. So let's look at this feature in action. So when you uh, join the web gains network and you go to the platform, what does the affiliate uh, discovery feature look like uh, in action in real life and how do you find um, what do you see let's take a look how can you connect with a range of affiliates that are relevant for your brand welcome to affiliate discovery built on bespoke machine learning technology affiliate discovery finds the best affiliates match for your brand when you log into your program and go to Affiliate Discovery, you can view the recommendations that have been selected for you. Affiliate Discovery creates smarter connections based on content and product similarities, analyzing more than 100 data points to give every program a boost. Your recommendations are ranked by your match, our unique calculation analyzing the fit between your program and our network of affiliates. This scoring is specific to you, 
The list automatically updates when new affiliates join our network, new transactions are made, an affiliate updates their site, or you update your product feeds. Moreover, our unique filters allow you to discover affiliates from a specific category or who writes content about a specific topic related to your activity. This allows you to connect with niche content players that are so hard to find otherwise. Personalized and data-driven recommendations, automatic updates, that is affiliate discovery, empowering smarter connections every time. Okay, so that's what the feature looks like. That's how it works uh, in, you know, what it does. But does it bring the results? What can we see from the data perspective, from the results perspective, now that this feature has been live, well, for almost a year now? So we have some insight, well, lots of insight and lots of data to really um, give us an understanding of what has it done to our advertisers and to our publishers um, since it's been launched. Humphrey, what do you what do you see? Um, we've got yeah, so uh, we're 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 swimming in data and statistics. And uh, by, you know, when we were working on this presentation, we decided to narrow it down to like I guess you know three three really um, important and hopefully digestible um, uh, facts that we found. So the first thing we did was a good old fashioned A/B test. So we looked at merchant programs who went live uh, before and after affiliate discovery. Now, obviously, you know. Last year was a uh, a real anomaly in terms of data because of because of COVID nineteen, many different many different effects across across different aspects of the network. So we tried to control for that. Um, we also we also tried to control for um, things like strength of brand. Uh, but what we eventually picked was um, uh, so we have a lot more data than just these two, and I think you know we we, we may we may well have a, a wider case study in the future. But just to just to home in on two. On two A B tests. So the first was we had two vendor, uh, two merchant programs, um, working on fitness nutrition. So you know, protein shakes, um, you know, uh, drinks, all all that good stuff, and they were both in the UK. Uh, before and after affiliate discovery went live, and um, after affiliate discovery went live, um, the number of generated uh, and accepted and active and active join requests was up by just over 30%, so um, 31.7. Uh, and the similar A-B test, uh, we picked a different country, we picked Germany this time, uh, we picked so furniture, immobilian, and we said, okay, let's let's do exactly the same test. So uh, find a program who went live, um, you know, in the three months preceding uh, end of June, and then find find another program that went live in the, in the, in the, the, up to four months after after Philly Discovery went live, and then you know slightly even slightly better results, so thirty six point three percent. So these are requests where the merchant. So we're making recommendations to the merchant, as you saw in the demo. The merchant says, hmm, "Okay, I like the look of these of these publishers." The merchant is inviting them to join their uh, their program. So you invite the campaign those specific campaign IDs to join your program. Uh, as they then deliver traffic and conversions to your to your website um, to your to your products, um, that counts as an active um, as an active link. So yeah, so um, you know that's strong uplift. You know we're really happy with that. Now obviously you know it's uh, you know the, the average is going to be um, you know probably slightly lower than that. But uh, in in general, what we'll say is that um, in virtually all of the tests we've run, affiliate discovery only has a positive impact it never hinders and i guess you know if we if we think it through that makes sense because um you know you're only going to find good fresh relevant publishers in affiliate discovery and if you invite them and they're active and um, the cost of sending that invite is, is virtually zero right so you know I, cool. so that's our first finding our second finding um yeah, so this was a uh, very interesting in terms of the you know like value to the individual program and then and then value to the network. So uh, first of all, over time, um, uh, the usage of the of this particular part of the platform has doubled. So in the nine months that we've been live, I've normalized it here to like a you know to to one and two, just because we're you know 
not showing the you know the actual requests per day, but they're you know they're they're good and relevant and you know and, and growing nicely. You know you can see a clear pattern as people bump you know we're getting ready for um you know the November December peak selling time you know Black Friday and so on. So like end of September had a had a good bump um up from July and August beforehand, but it's been growing steadily since then and it's been growing month on month. So it's um you know we've had a really nice uh, pattern of traffic. Since the uh, since the first of January this year, which we're which we're quite happy about, um, so the so the so the usage is growing uh, nicely. A really nice finding within that usage is that um, merchants who are using affiliate discovery from a um, you know from a web gains perspective, they are five times less likely to close their program, and that's a really nice finding. You know, like you know, the lesson learned for us is, uh, you know, if we deploy tools that help our merchants find the content and publishers they're looking for in the network you know it's no surprise those programs will become more successful you know and um, that's a that's a really nice finding so you know that's been a that's been a great validation um and uh yeah we we want to build on this and um, you know take it to the next level with the next release yeah and i really i think this is such a powerful discovery is why do advertisers close their programs well probably mostly because it doesn't work. So they they just they try it out. Of course, this is, you know, a typical journey is like, well, they, they think affiliate could be a good channel, try it out, can't really see a big, you know, big bump in their activity or their their um, results. And then they close the program and say, oh, affiliate didn't work for me. And actually, this is a great statement of saying, well, yes, it's five times more likely to succeed uh, when you get those relevant um recommendations when you connect with the right publishers and again without really kind of requiring that you know exactly what you do on day one but but those those recommendations will come to you and we as a network will help you will help you get there and we'll will help you to get acquainted with with our publishers and um and and find those ones that are again relevant quality and that actually do drive those results right right Cool. Um, and our last, you know, this is this is, I, I would say maybe a, a, a metric as opposed to a finding, but it's, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit, it's a bit of both. Um, so looking at the performance of affiliate discovery so far, across you know a large number of programs, you know I think it's becoming clear that the sweet spot for affiliate discovery for um, a good number of those programs is simply to help find the next best ten to twenty active publishers to grow the program. We're not talking about, you know, I need to find 100 or 200. It's, you know, it's 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 a very doable number. Um, you know, it's, it sounds small, um, but like, but over time, the benefit, you know, the recurring benefits of those sales coming in week on week, month on month, really can stack up. Um, so, like that, that was interesting because, you know, uh, that was that was a bit of an open question up until this point, which says, okay, if I want to take my program, if I want to level it up and take it to the next stage. What do I need to do that? And you know, of course, um, you know there are some outliers. Like obviously, you know, um, you know the much larger programs, uh, you know, are, would be looking to exceed this number. But you know, there is a, you know, there's a, there's a cohort of merchant programs where adding ten to twenty would have a substantial difference uplift um, to their volumes through web gains that you would really notice in the numbers. So that was an that was an interesting finding. Yeah, that's really surprising that the number can be that low in order to really move the needle um which again just kind of shows that it's not it is all about quality right it's all about getting publishers that can get sale active and uh, can really start start driving those results so i hope you got a good idea of how we can help you find the best publishers on our network by using the affiliate discovery feature uh, if you want to talk to us more about it, please do get in touch and we'll be happy to see how we can further help you with this feature and with growing your brand through affiliate marketing. <laughs>